Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Blood and Wine. Thanks for joining me again. Well, I told you after the last episode I was going to run back to Novigrad and uh, put Severance on my steel sword. And I did that. Luckily I had uh, all of the materials, so it really wasn't difficult at all. So now I have Severance on uh, my steel sword and my silver sword. So we'll see how that helps us with our whirl. And I have traveled... When I came back to uh, Toussaint, I decided to come up here to these ruins. Why? Well, there are a lot of undiscovered locations up here. And I figured, let's just go ahead and start from the top and start working my way down. Um, this episode, we're going to run up here. And then we'll kind of start making our way back down. I think that's what we're going to do. I think. Or should I just go here? I don't know when else I'll go here, so we need to go up here first, get that out of the way, and then I'll come back. So that is what we're going to start with. Uh, the quest that I have uh, selected right now is this Wine Wars, Wine Wars Coronata. Uh, these are down here. We probably won't get to those in this episode. It depends on what these question marks are like, but I think I'm going to go up here, then maybe over here, and I don't know, here, 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 something. We'll kind of figure it out as we go along. Uh, there are a lot of enemies nearby, you can see on my mini-map. I think it's just a bunch of wolves. Uh, so I'm going to kind of steer clear of them just because I don't feel like messing with them. Oh, there's another enemy right up here. Boy, there's a bunch of them here. Okay, a bunch of arch spores. We don't need to fight arch spores. We've got enough stuff to fight. So we're going to go to these this swampy area here. That was a Hans base at one point. Took care of that. What's my inventory look like? Eh, it's pretty good. So what's this over here? Looks like another part of the ruins. We've got uh, some critter running around over here. What's up, dude? And something's making a strange sound. You hear that? Um, let me see here. Oh, that's a place of power. So, uh, I was given a suggestion in the comments, and I remember the comment, but I'm not sure I remember the suggestion. Um, the question was, why do I use Superior Swallow when I can instead use Superior White Rafford's Decoction? This thing restores vitality immediately and fully, grants immunity to damage for a short duration, whereas this accelerates vitality regeneration. Now, the good thing about Superior Swallow is that I have five of them. I only have three of these, but this might be a good way to go since it heals me immediately and also um, keeps me from getting damaged for a short period of time. So that's I think that's a very good suggestion. Thank you very much. And then there was another thing that was suggested, and um, I don't remember what it was right now. I think it was a uh, decoction. But I, oh, I think it might, it might have been Tawny Owl that was suggested. Accelerates stamina regeneration. Never expires at night. Actually, that sounds familiar. Let's throw some of that on there, too. So we're going to try that. And then after this episode, if I remember, I'll go back and read that comment and see if I did pick out the right things. But I think that's right. Although I think that there might have even been something else mentioned as well. Uh, I was also suggested that I stop letting enemies hit me. Because this sword has this neat ability where each blow generates charges which increase sword damage by 10%. Charges are lost over time or when receiving damage. A fully charged sword always deals critical hit damage. I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, use the um, repair kit on this thing right now. There. Okay, so this is a place of power. We're going to have to fight this thing first. I don't know what it is uh, just by looking at it from here. It is a white. Probably want to use a little bit of Eerden here. Oh, okay, we got some Bargusts. Uh, Eerden. Ouch. So where is this white? Get away from me. Get away. Did I lay down an Eerden or not? Come over here. No, you're not gonna come over here. All right, fine. Be that way. Place of power. Should draw from it. I should draw from this place of power. 
Come here. Okay, so this white is just going to spew out some Vargas here. Ooh, my vision, it's blurry. All right. All right, let's see. A little bit of whirl going in here. <laughs> All right, that was kind of nice. Did more damage to myself than I would have liked. Okay. Place of power. Let's draw from it. This is, uh, what do you know, Eerden. All right, we gained an ability point. That's nice. It's cool. Any goodies around here that for us to loot or anything? Or is the place of power enough of a goodie that we don't need anything else? Get some stuff from this uh, white here. So I am going to go into my inventory here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a swallow potion here because I don't need the I don't need to be healed immediately. So it's okay if I wait a moment for uh, that to, my vitality to resume, regenerate, replenish, whatever. Seems like there should be more to this place. Could be some goodies hiding somewhere, but uh, apparently not. So let's go ahead and bring our map back up here. And um, let's just run back down this way and then we'll go over there. Do it this way. Not too far to go. So hopefully it won't take us too long to get there. Geralt does a pretty good job of running through this swamp. I tell you, man. I've got... I've got everything turned up to max in my settings on this game. But I'm only running it at 1080p, right? Uh, my computer, I think, is fairly powerful. I mean... I've got a... i got a, a 1080 in it. Uh, I've got, what, a uh, 7700 i7, 7700 card. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty powerful computer, but still disappointed at how this game runs sometimes. It kind of, like, hitches a little bit sometimes. I don't think it should do that with the amount of power this computer has. But I blame Windows 10. Should have stuck with 7. So we got some Kiki Moors here. Put a little bit of insectoid oil on our sword. And here we go. A little bit of this on here. That'll help us out. Oh, stuck on a tree here or something. Oh man, what the hell? Move, Geralt. Man, look at the damage we did to that thing. Holy cow. That thing didn't stand a chance. Let's go take on the other one. Guarded treasure here. Let's get a little world going. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fantastic. Man. I, I, I'm totally okay with doing that much damage. That is fine with me. That is fantastic care of those things without it much trouble at all. Well, the, unfortunately, these guys um, did not meet a happy fate. They're all dead. Ah, there's the guarded treasure. So, none of these guys have any interesting notes or anything on them that I could read about which would lead to a new quest? No? Letter to a mother. Oh, there we go. Let's read that. Darling mother, forgive me for fleeing without saying a word, but you know if father learned my intentions, he would sooner break my knees than allow me to leave. You must understand the life of a village scribbler is not for me. A village scribbler? I do not want to end up like father, spending my entire life hunched over tomes and slowly losing my eyesight during days and nights spent in dark offices. I want a life of adventure. Perhaps one day I'll visit you, my darling mother. Meanwhile, you may know health and happiness, your loving son, Fabrice. Oh, sad story. Sad, sad story. Well, that's a shame. I feel like we should try to find the mother and take the note to her so she can at least know what happened to her son. God, I can't even imagine. I don't have any kids of my own, but 
mean, it's just imagine having kids and then they leave, right? And then you just you just never see them again. They just never come back. Gosh, I don't want to think about that. That makes me too sad. Let's not think about that. Let's instead play this wonderful, cheery game. It's so cheery, and there's so much good and wholesome things to discover in this game, right? Let's look at our map. Uh, let us go ahead and uh, we'll run over here. We'll do this and then come down here. Boy, there's a lot of stuff here, man. I'm actually not sure. I'm trying to do this methodically without running out of running or uh, uh, backtracking is the word I'm looking for. But we'll just go over here. See what there is to see. I really uh, like clearing these uh, undiscovered locations off of the map. Whoa, Geralt's getting his sword out right here and right now. See, we don't need to fight that. We're just going to move on. The Silver Salamander Inn. Hmm. Okay. This is a new place. Let's check this place out. Put your sword away, Geralt. New marker, abandoned site. Huh. Are these uh, bandits in here? I think we're about ready to fight us some bandits. Yep, there's one right there. And oddly enough, it looks like we could talk to him. He's not showing up as an enemy. Oh, pff, you stupid game. That was bullcrap. I was like, oh, okay, maybe we could try to reason with these bandits. But no, the game's like, ha ha, you crossed a threshold. I'm going to suddenly turn hostile. Hey, guys, what's up? I got some whirl for you. Whoa, somebody did some damage to me. Look at that. Heal ourselves immediately. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, why are you just standing there? Don't you see this whirling dervish coming at you? <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Let's do that again. Too late to surrender. Huh. See, the simple fact that he said that makes... Because I don't know if I've ever heard Geralt say that before. It makes me wonder if that was a possibility. Could I have talked to that guy somehow? But... Oh, Speedy Eugene's journal. Let's read it. If our fearless leader, Starling Dragon, is going to write everything down in his notebook, why, then I'll do the same. And I've plenty to write about. For the way we pillaged and plundered the silver salamander till it looked a pile of dank diarrhea was positively epic. Whole Hans had been fixing for ages to make a jaunt over to that tavern. For how long can you sit twiddling your thumbs at a place as foul as the ruins of Arthak? Water up to our ankles, fungus everywhere, and the wind blowing so fierce our bums pucker. Why the dead dong diddle stick around? So we didn't. We got our doo-doo together and went to work. Hit them so hard before they figured out what was going on, Half of them had already been hacked apart. It was over in a flash. In fact, we got so carried away, not a living soul was to be seen when we were through, though it seems a few managed to scatter into the woods, including that blasted Nilfgaardian owner, but we'll see to it tracking down survivors later. Or we'll see to tracking down survivors later. Meanwhile, we'll drink a bit, sing a bit, and then head out for a good hunt. So, there you go, my memoirs. Signed me, Vice Head of the Hants, Speedy Eugene. I wonder if we killed him when we took over that Hans. I don't know. Well, this guy's got some stuff. This guy's got some stuff. I'm gonna take this guy's stuff also. And we'll take this guy's stuff too. But there's still more left alive because we did not get the message saying that the abandoned site had been cleared out. And sure enough, here comes some doofuses now. Hey doof, what's up? I've got something for you and you're not gonna like it. so great oh 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 okay so he was able to uh, sneak in a hit there <laughs> oh gosh I could get used to this oh my gosh oh oh okay okay reset Reset. 
Oh, I'll just see his feet kept walking. Look at this. This is awesome. Go ahead, shoot me with an arrow. What do I care? Go ahead. Go ahead. It does nothing. <laughs> the arrows, they do nothing. It's freaking awesome. I'm coming for you, jerkwad. <laughs> Don't catch yourself on fire, Geralt. Oh my gosh, I feel almost invincible. Uh, I kind of like it. Anybody else? No, that's all abandoned area cleared. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is insane, the amount of damage we're doing. That is great. That is a beautiful, beautiful graphic there. Lovely. All right. Well... Everybody back to work. Area liberated, its populace has returned. Well, let's uh, loot these dead bodies here. And there's a little tavern here that we'll go pay a quick visit to. Here is a chest that nobody else bothered to loot, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, where's the stuff? Loot, loot, loot. More looting. Okay. What's up, clerk? I'm listening. Are you? Up to with it. Good I'm listening. F. Here's a nap. Okay, let's go in here to this inn. Pay a visit. Witcher, Witcher, a word might I have. Sure, what's up, innkeep? It's good you oh, ha, 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 ha. He was going to talk about the Hanses. Oh. Ad Feyen, just what we needed, a witcher with stones of granite. That's me. That Bleder Hansa has terrorized this land too long. Thank you for your aid, Batgirl. So he was probably going to give us uh, a quest to go take care of that Hans, but we've already taken care of it. An elf guardian a long way from home. And he's not a soldier. Don't see that often. Warfare did not appeal to me. My Vafer, however... Meaning my father, he fought at Sodden Hill, survived despite a lung run through with a spear, and a right hand that went missing. My goodness. Yet the injuries meant he could no longer serve in the Impera Brigade. Here in Toussaint, the climb and wine bolster healing, and a war pension paid in Nilfgaardian Florence buys much. An inn, for instance. I thank you, Witcher, for your aid, for recovering my patrimony. Ard Dank. Ard Dank indeed. Show me your useless wares. Show me what you're peddling, Nelf Guardian. Uh, yeah, nothing I'm interested in at all. Um, so, we'll just let him be. He's not even selling any good Gwent cards. So long. Who buys that stuff? Who plays this game and buys food and stuff from the innkeeps? I could see maybe doing it like at the very, very starting of the game before you've had a chance to do any looting, but good lord. There's so much free stuff lying around. I guess if you maybe wanted to role play as a totally, totally ethical Geralt who doesn't loot other people's stuff, but if you did that, you're going to miss out a lot of quests too and a lot of story stuff because you find story stuff in people's stuff. The Silver Salamander Inn, even though that salamander is not silver. That's okay. Maybe they couldn't find any silver paint. Alright, well, we have opened up a uh, an inn here, which is very, very exciting. Let's go down here to this other undiscovered location and uh, see what is up down there. See that little hitch there? I, that... That bothers me, man. The game slows down a bit. The frame rate goes. The frame rate goes down. It shouldn't do that. I'm telling you, man. Spend all that money on a new computer. I really do wonder. I don't know what else I could do. I mean, I feel like I've modified my my uh, install of Windows 10 as much as I can, so that a bunch of crap isn't running in the background. Because I have the I think it's called the Pro version. I think where you have a little bit more control over what you do to your computer. But you don't care about that. Let's get in here and take on some more bandits. Hey guys, what's up? Don't 
Don't let him catch his breath. Okay, let me get my stamina back here. And we'll do a bit more whirling. <laughs> Come on, says Geralt. <gasps> oh, it's the best. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, this is so great. This is so much fun. <laughs> okay, you're all dead and bloody and gruesome. And uh, I delight in it a bit too much, maybe. The weapon repair kit there, that's kind of nice. Alright, anything interesting here on any of your all's bodies? No? It's just a uh, regular old bandit camp? Nothing to get too terribly excited about? Go ahead and loot their stuff. I mean, surely even if you tried to play as a very ethical Geralt, you'd still raid bandit camps, wouldn't you? Surely you would. Bandits suck. And taking their stuff is totally fine. Here's what we came here for. Uh, Starling's Dragon's Order. So Starling's Dragon, I think, was the Hans leader at uh, that ru those ruins that we were at at the starting of this episode. Let's check out his orders. Speedy Eugene's taken the inn, meaning his whole gang's probably already blind, bum-botching drunk. Keep a watch on the high road, for if any knights or guardsmen go at them, there won't be anything left to clean up. I promise you next time, you'll be the ones to have fun, and Eugene's crew will have to guard your backs. We might raid Coronata soon. Wenches and wine aplenty there, so you'll get yours, Starling. Coronata. Where's that? Have we been to Coronata? I don't know if we have, actually. Uh, I don't know of any... Um, place called Coronada, and it's got to be around here because we're doing Wine Wars Coronada, and uh, this is one of them here, this is one of them here, this is one of them here, so Coronada is going to be somewhere in this area. I mean, maybe... I think we've already visited this place, though, haven't we? How, how could we have gone here and here, but not visited this place? I don't know. It's possible. Same thing with this place right here. Surely I went here, right? We went here. Why wouldn't I have gone here? I don't know. It's probably best not to ask questions like that, huh? Now let's go ahead and run here now. And um, we'll go take care of uh, this next undiscovered location. I'm going to go back to my inventory and uh, take another one of these potions. So my health regenerates as we run across the lands here. Beautiful part of the country here. Quite lovely. You know, I mean, I'm even running this game on a Solid state drive, you know, so it's not like I have to wait for the computer to access the, the hard drive. It's just, there's just no excuse. No excuse at all for there to be frame rate drops. There's just not, man. I guess what I'm saying is I'm not really 100% satisfied not with good. this new computer. New marker, Prophet Lebiota's footsteps. New quest, feat to fill the fourth group. Well, look at this. The fourth group of missing workers had been due to travel to the building site through an area with a very bad reputation. In setting out to find them, Geralt expected trouble of none to modest sort. Let us investigate the workers' camp. Lots of blood here. And blood going off in that direction. Let's investigate. Blood. Lots of it. That's what I said. I could be a witcher. Okay. What else? There's the tracks. I guess we'll follow these tracks, huh? Kiki Moors? Kiki Moors? Kiki Moors? No new text. Gross. Can't examine this? Carol doesn't care about the horse. Follow the Kiki Moore's tracks. Hey, look, Kiki Moore's. Do I still have um, insect uh, whatever? I do. The I have the stuff there on my sword still. 
Hey guys, what's up? Okay, search the Kikimore nest. Well, let me kill the Kikimores first. Nice, that was a neat move, Geralt. Did you see that he rolled and then like stabbed him? That was neat. Oh. Trees in my way. Oh, this is a big dude. Don't give up, Carol. Alright, let's get uh, away here. Take our potion. Whoa. Come on, get over there, Geralt. Come on, finish him off. Alright, finished off that big dude. There's another one over here behind me. Nice. Oh, man. This is great. I'm so powerful now. What did this guy drop for us? Kiki more Discharge. Did you see that? Ugh, sounds disgusting. <laughs> Alright. We're supposed to search the nest. Eggs. Need to incinerate these to ash. We got that right. Okay. I missed one. Alright. Ooh, look at this body here. So... Missing workers. This is what became of them. Hmm. Oh. Okay. We're back at the Sil Silver Salamander Inn. I was just here. One day later, Geralt's still toxic. Oh, there's the uh, statue. Off in the distance. Okay, big feat to fill the fourth group. There's one more group out there somewhere. Uh, it says optionally we could visit the building site. Let's see what that is. The building site is... This is the building site. Alright, well we'll get there. Don't you worry, we'll get there. Go back to our quests. Gotta go back to Wine Wars Coronada. And we'll see on our world map that uh, there is a place over here we could go visit. So let's run over here. That's a bit of a ways away, so let's hop on old Roach. And let's go, um, let's go Roach. Come on. Not so fast, Roach. Huh. It's interesting. There's a fire burning down there. Was that those That's eggs that we just uh, caught on fire? No, it's, was the fire still burning? I'm not sure. It was interesting, though. Oh, an arch spore. It's like underground or something. Weird. Well, you could stay underground as far as I'm concerned. Oh, something to my left. I'm going to avoid that. New marker, entrance. Hmm. Huh. Let me look at my map here. So we found an entrance. This may very well be underground. I'm going to hop off old Roach here. We're going to do a meditate real quick. We'll meditate through the night. Get our potions back. Yeah, meditate till morning. Sun's coming up. Alright, got our potions back. You stay here, Roach, okay? I'm going to go into this entrance. We'll see what's going on down here. Um, jump. New marker: persons in distress. Let's go through here. Oh, Geralt's getting his sword out already. Hey guys, what's up? Look out, lady. I don't want to accidentally hit you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the best. It's so great. Oh, Geralt's disgusted. Noble knight. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. Mm. When suddenly... <laughs> Calm down. Calm it's down. Over. The bank did less kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles... He never could have paid them. 
Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. Should you need any helps, I have a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you walk me there? Okay, let's go. Come on. Lead the way, right behind you. I don't know where the Coronata is anyway, so this is a good way to find it. I won't be able to loot these bodies, but that's okay. They're just stinking bandits, and we can always come back here anyway and loot the bodies. I'm sure they'll still be here. Coronata Estate, Sands Retour Valley. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Uh, what's going on with your vineyard? It looks pretty crappy. What a nice thing to say, Geralt. Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out a head shorter. Hmm. That's interesting and all, but uh, show me your wares. Show me what you got. Well, she sells these potions that you could use to respec and such. But other than that, I'm not interested in anything she's selling. So she she doesn't have any money to buy anything from us, so sayonara. Thanks. See you later. Thanks for nothing. Stop looking at me like that. Okay. Well, here's an herbalist and uh where are we on the map? Here we are. Uh, right here, this is Coronada, so apparently this is a place that we didn't visit before. Um, we've got these uh, places here that uh, need um, help. So, apparently we've already taken care of two of five. So let's just run up to this one and make that three of five. Uh, let us uh, repair our sword before we move, though. Our repair kits... Repaired. What's up, y'all? What's up, my peasants? Greetings. Greetings to you, good hey, sir. Try to be more careful. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right, let us uh, run over to this place. So this is probably going to be one of those vineyard things where we have to take out some arch spores. That was cool. Did you see that peacock spread its feathers? <laughs> that was neat. I thought we were about to be attacked. <laughs> yeah. All right. Some wild horses over there. Yep, sure enough, arch spores. Well, we still have insectoid oil on our uh, sword. So we'll just go with that. Put a little bit of quin on us here when we get closer. They look like baby birds. Their mouths open. Feed me. All right, let's go uh, take on these stupid things. Oh, he went underground. I got something for you. If I can get to you. Alright, one down. Great sound effects. Sheesh. Oh man, there's a ton of these things. Uh okay. Where do I need to go? Up here? No? Where are they? Who am I fighting here? What's going on here? Yeah, take a potion. You, shut up. Okay, now he's over there. This guy's annoying. Come on, come over here where I can fight you. Come on. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, man, this jerk. Ugh. Oh, these are, um... Yeah, that was an arch spore, wasn't it? it? Looked like it said something different. Arch spore. All right. Okay, took care of that. Those things are a pain in the butt, man. 
they're annoying because they hide and then they pop up and then you go to kill them and then by the time you get over to them they're underground again blow itself didn't kill him bled to death afterwards oh my orders on elegant stationery hmm. what have we got here what have we got here no chance this letter wound up here by accident no chance this letter wound up here by accident says Geralt Fail me this time, and I'll skin that splotchy hide off your rump. Pick up the next batch of seedlings tomorrow from the Teshamutna hatchery. We need to infect another spot at Coronada. But don't be late, because the team from the vineyard on the other side of the river's got the key. V. Okay, so uh, when we were over there at the other vineyard, whatever it's called... No, it's clear. Someone's out to sabotage Coronada. Shame I don't know who. Though I could still find out if I keep looking. Yeah, the Vermentino. So I believe when we were over at the Vermentino courtyard, uh, we found mention that the Coronadas were uh, sabotaging them. But now that we're here at the Coronadas, we find uh, mention that the Vermentinos are sabotaging them. But what I don't remember is searching for Coronada proof of sabotage. So that makes me wonder if really it's Vermentino who's bad all along. We look at this one see look there's no um there's no quest here to search for proof that the coronadas are uh, sabotaging the vermentinos so if the vermentinos are actually uh sabotaging the coronadas well then I, I feel like i should side with the coronadas right so optional search vermentino and find proof of sabotage well that would all the way be all the way over where the vermentino place is and that is going to be... Hmm. So these are problems. Where is the... Where's Vermentino? Why do I not have that one on my map? Hmm. It also doesn't even say Coronada here. Which is kind of annoying. So where's Vermentino? I don't remember where it is. How am I supposed to search it if I don't know where it is? Huh. Uh huh. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, when I select this one, it doesn't doesn't tell me where to go. Hmm. Hmm. Search Vermentino and find proof of sabotage. Well, um, yeah. We'll have to see if I can remember where Vermentino is. I mean, we could go back to our quests and do this, but this isn't going to tell me exactly where Vermentino is. I mean, I know it's down here somewhere. You know? But yeah, I don't know exactly where it is, and I don't know have any idea where I'm supposed to search. That makes things rather difficult, I must say. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure what to do about that. But I do know that there is another undiscovered location up here that I don't want to forget about, so we are going to turn around and run up that way. Beware the white terror. Danger zone do not enter. We saw that before. Anything else we could loot here? Oh, all kinds of goodies in here. Okay. I thought I looted this already, but I guess I didn't. Alright, let us run up to this other place. Oh, but first, let us loot this. Don't want to forget that. Some good stuff in there. Alright, let's go. We'll just run on foot. It won't take very long, I don't think. 
Hmm. Search Vermentino. And why did I not get a quest to search Coronata for proof of sabotage? Hmm. Strange. So, what are we going to find over here? Is there something big over there? I'm not sure what I'm looking at through those trees. Uh, looks like a camp, maybe. Uh, looks like some cougars or panthers or whatever they are in this game. I'm gonna do a quick meditate, get my potions back. All right. Guarded treasure, guarded by this big cat. Panther. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Gerald, you can stop swinging now. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Is that it? Was that thing supposed to be dangerous? <laughs> Orders for Calvin. Calvin, you know I like you. Unlike the rest of this lot, you've got a good head on your shoulders. But this thing about a panther. Seriously, lad? You've adopted a diddling panther? Oh, sorry, Calvin. It attacked me. A few of our men came back to camp with their bums so bitten... They'll have to doo-doo standing up for weeks, and the very thought of going back on patrol has them shaking so hard, their seams burst. This can't go on. Heard you've, gone, heard you've even gone so daffy as to give it a name. Hobbs the Panther? Ha ha ha. Calvin and Hobbs, real cute. You are completely off your nut, aren't you? Now concentrate, because I don't feel like repeating this. The lad who brought you this letter is carrying a hefty coin pouch. That's the lion's share, no bleeding pun intended, of the loot from our last job. The pouch is yours, but you take that overgrown kitty somewhere out in the wilderness and slit its throat. Simple enough? For the sum you're getting from me, you'll buy yourself two pure-blooded greyhounds, and we can forget the whole thing. That's me being generous. Don't make me change tax, Stragon. Sounds pretty generous to me. Guy does something stupid and he gets rewarded for it. So we're we gonna find his dead body here. It's kind of looking like maybe not, huh? Don't uh, see it right off. So maybe he, um, well, or actually, <laughs> duh. There's the dead body right there. <laughs> That's Calvin. So <laughs> not the Calvin and Hobbes you read about in the funny pages when you were a kid. Okay, let's take a look at our map again. And, um, remember I said that we could go back to this cave and loot it, so this is probably as close as I'm going to get to this cave again. So let's go back to it and see if those bodies are still there, and we'll also see if there's any other goodies in the cave. Hmm. Yeah. Sure enough, you can see on my mini-map those bodies are still there. So Roach has been waiting here patiently outside the entrance to this cave. Oh, that was close. Pretty neat cave down here. Alright, get off my screen. Get my torch out so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, loot. And uh, what else can we loot down here? Here's something. A mug, a jug, and some glasses. Some stuff. Oh, a dirty letter. Let's read it. I'll be short and to the point. You're to grab Liam's herbalist and keep him from finishing production of that new wine. Leave the girl alone till I send more orders. Don't mess this up, you bum-brained beetroot. V again. Hmm. Hmm. V's looking pretty guilty here. OK. 
Okay, anything else in here? A little bit of blood moss, nothing to get excited about. It looks like a different entrance to the cave, doesn't it? Okay. Somehow I flat out missed this. Let's see if there's another entrance back here. Yep, sure enough. New marker, entrance. Alright. Now let's see where we are on the map now. And here we are. Not a fast travel point to be seen for miles, unfortunately, because I look up here and what I really want to do is uh, take care of my inventory before the next episode. So I might actually man, I have to run all the way back over here, but there is a um, armorer here that I could sell a bunch of stuff to, so I could go do that and then uh, move on from there. So I guess that's what I'll do. After this episode, I'll run up here and sell off a bunch of stuff, take care of my inventory, and then um, when we come back next time, we will decide what we're going to do. So I hope you'll join me then. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy it, why don't you let me know? Maybe leave me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, why not consider subscribing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.